Hi guys, it's Lynn again. We're gonna do more limits with algebra. This time you need to know a special little trick. Whenever you see radicals in the expression, I'm gonna show you what to do every time, okay? So again, we have limits. Our goal is always just to plug the number in for x. So let's say the limit as x approaches, uh, let's say 25. And then the expression is going to be something like the square root of x minus 5 over x minus 25, okay? Might look a little funky, but I, you're probably going to see something like this along the way. Whenever you see this radical in this expression, this is the trick you kind of have to have up your sleeve, okay? Um, quick glance again, you can see if you plug 25 in right now, you're going to get 0 in the denominator. All right, so we got to rewrite this somehow. We can't factor it. There's no way to factor this thing. So your trick, whenever you have a radical, is always going to involve rationalizing the numerator. You've probably never rationalized a numerator before. Usually you rationalize a denominator. If you don't remember that, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Just remember, the way you rationalize something is the, the expression with the radical. You're going to multiply by what's called the conjugate, which means instead of the square root of x minus 5, we're going to multiply by the square root of x plus 5. And when you're rationalizing, you always multiply by the same thing on top and bottom. Okay? So this is what we're doing now. Now when you rationalize, what happens, the magic trick that happens is in up top you have the square root of x times the square root of x which just becomes plain old x. The outside plus 5 square root of x and then the inside minus 5 square root of x will always cancel. That's the beauty of the conjugate. Then what you're left with is the last times the last will be negative 5 times positive 5 is minus 25. That's up top. Now on the bottom, here's, the, here's a helpful hint. Do not foil the bottom. Just keep it in its factored form. So leave that as x minus 25 times the square root of x plus 5. This is still a limit. I have not plugged the x value in yet, so I still have to write the limit. Now what happens? Lo and behold, when you multiply by the conjugate or rationalize, the x minus 25s on top and bottom are going to cancel. That's why I wanted you to keep that factor intact. Don't foil it out, okay? Because the x minus 25s are always just going to cancel, all right? And now what you're left with is don't, don't forget, you still have the limit up top. You still have a 1 right? Don't forget that. But then when you have the square root of x plus 5 in the bottom, now you can plug the 25 in. 1 over the square root of 25, which is 5, plus 5, will give you a final answer of 1 tenth. The limit of this nasty expression as x approaches 25, when all is said and done, equals 1 tenth. All right, so whenever you see a radical with a limit where you want to plug in a number, go ahead and rationalize. Um, a lot of times they'll have you rationalize the numerator, okay? Let's do another one just to kind of hammer that point home. If we say the limit as x approaches 16. This time, let's say it's going to be the square root of x minus 4 over x minus 16. So again, looks kind of familiar. You see that radical right away? That should be the red flag. Oh, I'm going to have to rationalize. I can't plug 16 in right now because I get 0 in the bottom. But what's my trick? My trick with the radical is to multiply by the conjugate on top and bottom. So that's going to be the square root of x plus 4 over the square root of x 
plus four. Now, up top, when I do the foiling, square root of x times square root of x just gives me x. On the outside, I have plus four times the square root of x. Inside, I have minus four times the square root of x. Those are always going to cancel. And then last times last, minus four times plus four is minus 16. Remember, on the bottom, keep these separated out. Do not foil because now I have x minus 16 times the square root of x plus 4. Still have my limit notation out here. And what happens? Since I rewrote this whole thing, I can now cancel out the x minus 16s. I still have a 1 up top. Don't forget about that. But now when I plug 16 in, I will have 1 over the square root of 16 plus 4, which is 1 over 4 plus 4. In other words, 1 over 8. So there's another trick for your limits involving algebra or radicals. Rewrite it using the conjugate or rationalizing trick. Okay, hopefully that helps. Keep coming back. Thanks.